Hey folks, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatore. Now, a point that comes up in comments under my videos, actually still not infrequently, even after all these years of making um, videos on these sorts of topics and trying to dispel some of these misconceptions, is that something along the lines of an axe or a mace or a warhammer, it's the good old warhammer, you'll recognise this, regular viewers of the channel, um, Something like one of these sorts of weapons is somehow easier to use than a sword. Um, and I just want to break that down in relatively concise terms. Uh, is that true? Fundamentally, no. Okay, um, so the point I've made many, many times before, although in fairness I probably haven't repeated it um, in the last year or two, is that fundamentally a weapon's ease of use uh, doesn't really change when you've got a medium length weapon like this. Both of these weapons can take someone out. But what, why would this inherently be easier to use than a sword? Well, there is actually one reason. There is one way, um, which I'll come to kind of more towards the end. But fundamentally, <laughs> When you're fighting someone, what it comes down to is your individual levels of skill, perhaps your physical size, strength, experience, um, things like this. Uh, even, you know, psychology, of course, as well. What kind of state of mind you're in, how much you really want to kill the other person, or how much you want to run away and don't really want to be having a fight. So these are the things fundamentally that dictate how the fight turns out. But that's not to say that all weapons are equal, and I wouldn't want anyone to uh, go away with that kind of misconception very clearly. If you've got something like a giant survive hander, then that gives you a reach advantage, a leverage advantage, a power advantage. If you are using something like a rapier against an axe, then generally speaking, that's a big advantage because it's a lot more nimble in the tip. It's a lot longer reach. It's got a better hand protection. The axe or the uh, warhammer, certainly in a, shall we say, late medieval context um, and through to the Renaissance or even a modern context, is fundamentally not a great weapon in a fight. Um, if in a in a one on one fight, and I'll, I'll break that point out a little bit in a second, against something like a rapier, because as I've mentioned, the rapier has all of the advantages. It's got the advantage of reach, hand protection, uh, being balanced close to the hand, so therefore being nimble with the point, things like this. But that's not to say that the axe is in any way a rubbish weapon. It's just not a very good one on one dueling weapon. In a kind of battlefield or skirmishing context, that's a different kettle of fish because how would this generally be used? It would generally be used, you know, with a shield, with some degree of armour. As I did in my recent video, I recently talked about even having a light level of armour, having a helmet, something on your body, uh, or indeed having a shield completely changes the nature, nature of the fight. So if we've got someone with an axe and a shield against someone with just a rapier, it entirely changes the fight. Okay, so it's not that the axe per se is a rubbish weapon, or this could equally go for a mace or a warhammer. It's not to say that it's a rubbish weapon, Again, it comes down, always comes down to my favourite word, context. It's that it is a weapon which is fantastic used in a certain um, situation, in a certain scenario, and usually coupled with a, um, with a shield. Some of you might go, ah, oh, but Matt, what you're holding looks kind of like a tomahawk. And that's true, and the tomahawk was an excellent weapon, again within its context. So um, it's a backup weapon, uh, generally speaking, to a firearm. And so therefore it's something that's a tool and a sidearm. So really what you're comparing it with in that context is a knife. Okay, so is the, is the tomahawk a good weapon? Well, compared to a knife, yeah, it's pretty good. If you've got a knife, if you've got a tomahawk, these are two weapons which are in a similar yeah, they can face off against each other and one isn't horribly outmatched against the other. So it's something you can wear on your belt, also use it as a tool, and if you need to, in a close-in fight, wear a bayonet or your firearm or whatever, uh, you, a bow even if you're a Native American, uh, when that is no longer, either you've run out of ammunition or you're at a distance, essentially punching distance, where that weapon's no longer useful, and you pull this out, this is now a useful weapon. So. Within certain contexts, this is an excellent weapon, but one-on-one, -on -one, if one person has a sword and one person has an axe, first of all, this isn't easier to use, this is actually harder to use. Why? Because in that specific context, the person with the sword, or as we talked about with the rapier, has lots of advantages over the person with the single axe. Why is that the case? Well, quite simply, the sword has a long blade, it's got two edges, 
it's got a point, um, it's got longer reach, it's a bit more nimble, you can reach further, it's got some degree of hand protection, it's balanced towards the hand, um, so therefore you can move it around more quickly, you can defend better with it than you can with an axe. And you know, don't underestimate the importance of hand protection always as well. So fundamentally, if you've only got an arming sword or you've only got an axe, which person has an advantage? The person with the sword has an advantage. That's why swords were preferred sidearms for so long. Why were axes used? And were axes tended to be used, as we've spoken about with tomahawks, where you needed something that was both a tool, uh, maybe you couldn't afford, you know, maybe like Native American context, they didn't have access to swords, generally speaking. There are some cases of Native Americans being pictured with swords that have been captured, uh, which is all traded uh, and bought. Um, but generally speaking, something like a tomahawk was uh, something that they had access to. So of the hand weapons they had access to, this was really, really good. Um, equally, in a medieval context, why might you pick an axe instead of a sword? Well, because you're fighting in armour. And in armour, uh, certainly in male armour, when axes were quite popular, we're not talking about pole axes, we're talking about these one-handed axes, they were used with a shield and in armour. And if you've got a shield and in armour, an axe is a great weapon because it has a lot more percussive force against um, male armour, for example. You can just smash them on really, really hard with one of these and it will have more effect through the armour than smashing someone really, really hard with a relatively light and sharp sword, which is not going to cut through the mail and is not going to have as much percussive damage as, a, as, a, as an axe will. Um, that's why, you know, that's why things like this were invented in the Age of Armour, to get past armour, because swords aren't great at that, it has to be said. Um, equally, if where shields are involved, this has the secondary uh, purpose as well as just hitting really hard. It can smash up shields, especially lighter shields, possibly split them, break them. It's got a lot of percussive force, but equally you can hook. Uh, you can hook the edges of shields um, as well, which is something you can't really do uh, very easily with a sword, except with the uh, pommel end uh, in very close range, um, so different type of hooking. Um, so again, it all comes down to specific context. Within specific contexts, this might become the preferred thing, but generally speaking, this against this, the sword, will pretty much always win. Not to say that a really good fighter with just one of these couldn't beat a really good fighter with just an arming sword, they could, but they have the odds stacked against them. Now. I did say that I would come around to one possible way that, so looking at it, so I came, I came away from this and I thought, so why do people think that this is easier to use than a sword? And I think, I think the reason is because people assume that a sword has to be used with fencing knowledge. And it doesn't. Um, unfortunately, even today, crimes occasionally happen with axes and swords and machetes and things like this, baseball bats. You don't need learned skill to hurt someone with anything, with a brick, a stick, an axe, uh, a shovel, <laughs> a baseball bat, whatever. Okay, Anything you can pick up and swing, obviously you can hurt someone with. So someone with no training and no knowledge whatsoever can equally do this with a sword as they can do this with an axe. So from that perspective, you know, skill isn't an issue. But I do think that people have a perception, it's incorrect, but they have a perception that to use a sword you require some type of training or special knowledge. When you don't, it's just to be good with a sword against another person who's good with a sword you need to train. But that goes for any weapon. That goes for an axe as well. And as I've said, to be good with an axe against someone who's good with a sword, you need to be better than they are really because you've got the odds stacked against you. So from that point of view, you could say you need to be better trained to use the axe against a trained person than you do with a sword, okay? Um, one thing I mentioned uh, briefly, an unarmed person being attacked by either of these weapons, say I'm walking down the street and some maniac jumps out with an axe or some maniac jumps out with a sword, which would I rather face? The axe, every single time, okay? Quite simply because it's easier to defend yourself against the axe and disarm the axe than it is against the sword for a very simple reason. The axe is mostly made of a long shaft of wood, okay? You can block a wooden shaft with your arms, you can grab a wooden shaft easily, you can wrestle it off the person, okay? Also, the axe to wound you requires a certain degree of momentum behind it, whereas to wound you with the sword, it just, it could push with the point, it could push with the edge, it could draw with the edge, and you can't grab and grapple this blade as easily as you can against a pole weapon with a wooden shaft. 
So coming back to the point that I said I was going to address towards the end of this video, and I'm going to wrap this up there, um, I was thinking, okay, so I think that's why people think that this requires less knowledge or training than a sword, because people think wrongly that you need training to use a sword. You don't. As I've said, you can swing any object you like at someone else. Don't do it. I'm not saying you do it, but you can swing any object you like at someone else and hurt them with it. And in some ways, you might be more likely to wound them and hurt them with a sword than you would with an axe. But there is one way, I tried to look at it from the other direction, there is one way in which the axe is perhaps more able to uh, wound someone, or, or rather uh, be effective as a weapon, compared to the sword. And that is, quite simply, this is a top-heavy weapon. Okay, so there are lots of hits you could get on someone with a sword, that won't put them out of action, okay? That is, it will wound them, and we see this, you know, even today when people are attacked with large knives or swords, they have a lot of defensive wounds on their forearms, uh, because the person using the sword, they're scoring hits, <laughs> scoring hits like it's a competition, they're, they're hitting the other person, but they're not using it very effectively, they're not maybe getting good edge alignment, they're not accelerating the tip in the right way, they basically don't know how to use the weapon very effectively, and that's true. that could be true of the, sword, of the axe as well. Um, and so therefore they're not incapacitating the other person, they're just cutting them up. That is more likely to happen with a sword, than an axe. Why? Well, quite simply, this is a top-heavy weapon. You're less likely to get the edge alignment wrong with an axe. Pretty much anyone can pick up an axe and um, chop a tree down or uh, split a piece of wood. Uh, these are very, very effective choppers. And whilst the sword might hit you and do minimal damage, it's, it would be very unlikely that if you were hit by an axe, it would do minimal damage, unless somehow they manage to hit you with the side or the back or uh, hit you with the wood and not with the, with the edge. But if they hit you with the axe head, it's likely to do a lot of damage. And that pretty much, um, apart from the specific context like against armour or hooking shields, that pretty much is the only advantage the axe has over the sword in an unarmoured um, fight, is that generally speaking, any hits done with the axe are going to be deep grievous, horrible wounds, whereas you can do quite minimal wounds with a sword if you don't know what you're doing. So there we go. Um, <laughs> to conclude, I mean, I hope that was all pretty much clear, but to conclude, is one thing easier to use than the other? No, not if you're just hitting someone. Is one thing easier or harder to use against a skilled opponent? Well, against a skilled opponent, I would say that the sword is easier to use than the axe because it's more nimble, you can defend more easily with it, it's got hand protection, blah, blah, blah. Um, so actually, I think the axe is harder to use against a skilled opponent. But finally, the only way in which I think the axe has an advantage for a noob or an untrained person uh, over the sword is that if you do get a hit on with the axe, um, then it's more likely to do more damage more often. Uh, anyway, I hope that's been uh, useful and clear and relatively concise for my channel. Uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe if you haven't done already, um, and um, I'll see you soon for another video on a different random topic. Uh, suggestions, anything you particularly want me to address in the next video? I've got some videos planned out. Um, I mentioned I've been very, very busy with house renovations recently, um, so I've been shooting videos kind of in between doing that, but I do have some planned videos, including response videos, including review videos, including movie-related videos that take a little bit more time and um, editing uh, that I haven't had time to do, but which I'm finally getting back to doing now, so you will get some more of that content. But any suggestions and things you want me to do, um, soon, then, you know, as always, give me your comments underneath this video and your thoughts on what I have said about axes and swords today as well. I'd like to hear those. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers, folks.